Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover two things. First, we will see how to push a Docker image from our local machine to the Azure Container Registry. And then we will see how to deploy a Docker image into the Azure Container Instances and see how to access the application running in the Azure Container Instances. So let's get started. I am in the Visual Studio Code Editor. In the previous videos, we have created this basic Python Flask application, which will be running on port 8000. We have also written a Docker file, and we have created a Docker image for this Python application. If you have missed watching those videos, please watch those videos first. I'll put those videos links in the description section of this video. So let's proceed. So let me open the terminal in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And let me go with the command prompt instead of the PowerShell. And since the Docker image was already created in my local machine, let me check whether the Docker image is available or not. So for that one, let me run Docker commands. So Docker space images. So this command will show the Docker images that are available in my local machine. So you can see Python hyphen web API. So this is the Docker image that I was created in my earlier videos. So before running these Docker commands, make sure you have Docker desktop installed on your machine and that is in running state. So in my case, Docker desktop is installed and that is in running state. So let's move this Docker image from our local machine to the Azure Container Registry. For that, let's move on to the Azure portal and create a Container Registry first. I am in the Azure portal now in the Container Registry page. So click on Create to create the Container Registry. Let me give the resource group name as demo iPhone RG, which we have created in the earlier videos. In your case, if you don't have the resource group created, uh, click on create new and create the resource group. And let me give the registry name as demo ACR004. This should be unique. Um, yes, it, it's unique. And the location I'm specifying as East US and I'm specifying this queue as standard. I'm not making any changes. I'm going with the default ones. And in case of networking, encryption and tags, uh, I'm going with the default values itself. So let me click on review and create. Validation pass, so let me click on create. So this will take some time for creating the container registry. All right, you can see the container registry has created. Click on go to resource. So this is the container registry that we have created just now. So for those who are not aware of what is container registry, the container registry in cloud is something like a place where you can store uh, the Docker images. So just like how you store your uh, text files, log files, softwares, all those blobs in the storage account. In the same way, you can store all your Docker images in this container registry. So before pushing the Docker image from your local machine to this container registry, go to the access keys and enable the admin user. So once you enable this admin user, you will get the username and password so that you can authenticate yourself for pushing the Docker image from your local machine to this container registry. And for those who are new to this container registry, there is a quick start guide as well. So you can follow these steps for pushing the Docker image from your local machine to the container registry. So let's run these commands one by one and see how we can push the Docker image from our local machine to this container registry. I'm in the Visual Studio Code Editor. 
so first let's log in to the container registry that we have created so for that one let me go to the quick guide or quick start in the container registry page so let me copy this docker login command and let me paste that here so it's asking for the username so you can get those username and password in the access keys section you can copy the username from here and the password as well from here so you can see login succeeded so let's go to the quick start again you need to tag your docker image that means the image that you have created in your local machine with this acr domain so let's use this docker tag command and tag the docker image so let's move here let me copy the docker tag command and the image name that we have created is python iphone web api colon 1.0 with the tag that we have here let me copy this one and paste it here and let me give the image name that we have colon 1.0 all right uh, we have tagged our image with the acr domain that we have created and the next command that we have to use is docker push command so let me go here and let me copy the docker push command and then we have to give the image name that we have tagged the previous command and click on enter this will push the image from our local machine to the azure container registry so now you can see our docker image has been pushed to the acr that we have created so let's move on to the azure portal and check if that is really moved or not so for that one uh, let me go in the services section you will see the repositories let me click on the repositories so you can see the docker image uh, python hyphen web api here so if you click on this one you can see the tag 1.0 so that means our image has been moved from our local machine to the container registry that we have created in azure so since we have created the container registry and pushed the docker image uh, to the container registry here now let's move on to the container instances and see how we can deploy this docker image into the container instance and see how we can access that application now i am in the container instance page in the azure portal uh, click on create to create the container instance So let me give the resource group name as demo-rg the same resource group that i have used for creating the container registry and let me give the container name as python hyphen demo right and then i'm specifying the region as east us so i'm not changing that one and here in the image source let me give this as azure container registry because we have created this container registry just now and pushed our image so here you can see uh, this is auto populated uh, the demo hyphen is demo acr 004 the registry that we have created and this is the image and this is the tag so this was auto populated since we have only one repository and one image in our docker registry so I'm giving all the other things. Let me so let me go on to the networking section, and I'm giving the networking type as public so that everyone can access this one. And I'm specifying the port as 8000 because our application will be running on port 8000 and not on 80. So that's the reason I'm providing the port as 8000. In your case. If your application is running on any other port, let's say 8080 or 9000, something like that, you can 
specify that respective application port here so that we can access from the internet let me go to the advanced tab and i'm keeping everything as it is let me click on review plus review so the validation has been passed let me click on create so here you can see the container instance has been creating so now you can see the container instance has been created click on go to resource to view the container instance so this is the container instance that we have created so if you go to the containers section here under the settings so you can see the container uh, that we have created using this image so you can see this is the container registry and this is the image uh, that we have given this as a source so you can see the state as running and the start time as well so in order to access our application running inside this container go on to the overview section and copy the public ip here and go to the new tab paste the ip address and the port is 8000 on which our application is running so click on enter you can see the response that we are getting from our application that we have written so here in the app.py section this endpoint we are getting the response so in this way we can publish our docker image into the container registry and then we can deploy the docker image into the container instance and we can access that application running inside the container using the public ip address so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out on my next videos Thank you.